I have done my post graduation graduation through distance education. Am I eligible to pursue a PhD in India? This is one of the most frequently asked questions to me. Today in this video, I make an attempt to answer in detail this question after drawing logical conclusions from various UGC regulations. So, in case you are also interested in knowing the answer to this question, then stay tuned with me, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor, trainer, Dr. Ritika Gaba. So, let us start this video by discussing who can pursue a PhD in India. Or in other words, what is the minimum eligibility criteria to pursue a PhD in India as given by UGC in its PhD regulations. Remember, UGC is the apex PhD body and all universities and institutions of national importance who are offering a PhD program in India have to mandatorily follow these PhD regulations. These are minimum eligibility criteria, meaning another institute can make more stringent criteria, but this is the minimum which everybody has to follow. So UGC says, as per their 2016 regulation that in order to pursue a PhD in India, you should have a post-graduation degree with 55% marks. This was given in the 2016 regulation. Very soon, we are going to have the 2022 regulations being implemented. Now, in the 2022 regulation, UGC besides the postgraduate students would also allow four-year graduates who have 75% marks to pursue a PhD in India. Now, whether you are a postgraduate or you are a four-year graduate, one thing which both of you require is a degree. So you should have a post-graduation degree or a four-year graduation degree from a UGC or Ministry of Education recognized institution or university or its affiliated colleges. This is the minimum eligibility criteria to pursue a PhD. So from the diagram, one rather two things are very clear. First, you require a PA, you require a degree. That means that if in case through your distance education, you have obtained a diploma rather than a degree, then you cannot pursue a PhD in India. That's number one. Secondly, on the screen, we are sharing with you once again the 2022 forthcoming PhD regulations. In this regulations, you can clearly read that even though uh, UGC speaks about post-graduation, four-year graduation and the marks and degree, nowhere does it specify whether this degree has to come through a distance education program or it, can, it has to come through a full-time uh, program course that means that whether you've done a distance education you've obtained this degree through distance education or you've obtained it through by attending a full-time course this post graduation or graduation course in both the cases you can pursue a PhD degree in India so after understanding in detail the PhD regulations of 2016 and 22, let us move on to understand another important regulation, the notice regarding which was released by UGC just a few months back. In fact, we had designed a complete video related to these regulations. We are sharing with you the link of these regulations in the I above. Now, to give you a gist, in this notice, UGC had clearly specified that whether a student has completed their post-graduation graduation through a UGC recognized distance education mode or has done it through a regular mode, in both the cases, the degree which the student gets would be considered equivalent. So if UGC themselves are saying that the degree, whether done through distance mode or through a regular mode is equal, that means that a student would also be eligible to pursue a PhD if they have completed it through distance mode. Now the distance education program that the students pursue, you have to clearly make sure about two things. First, that the university from where you are pursuing this course is UGC recognized or Ministry of Education recognized. Secondly, the 
program which is being offered as a distance education program also has the approval of UGC's Distance Education Bureau. In case you do want to find out that how can you exactly verify what kind of precautions should you take while you are pursuing a distance education program, for that you can watch our previous video on dedicated to precautions that you should take while getting yourself enrolled in a distance education program. We are sharing the link of this video in the i above. Also, please note, I have gone through the regulations of more than a thousand universities and institutes across India, which includes your IIT, your IIM and all other top universities. And no university and institution in their regulation prohibits a student who has pursued their post-graduation or graduation through distance education to apply in their PhD program. To conclude, in case you pursued your graduation or your post-graduation from a UGC recognized institute and your program is also UGC recognized, then you can definitely pursue a PhD program in India. I hope all these explanations did answer your question and did resolve all your doubts. Do let me know if you have any other questions related to PhD. Put them in the comment section below and I will definitely make a video about it and share it with you very soon. This is Dr. Ritika Gaba and I'm here to empower you with genuine, well-researched and in-depth information. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my videos and share them with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for listening to me.